what's up welcome back to the channel it's Chloe. it's been a hot minute since i've actually sat down and filmed a video instead of vlogging vlogging has kind of like fit my lifestyle recently but this is something that i want to talk about because i just recently took the whole month of january off of social media and I felt like I learned so much that I wanted to make a video about it because I don't think I'm the only one that struggled with being overconsumed by social media, especially Instagram, I feel like more than anything. So I'm just gonna make this a quick video on kind of like why I, why I did it, um, how long it took to adjust, what I did with my time and what I learned. Um, the main reason I did it was because my screen time it was like a week before January started, said that I was on my phone for a total of six hours a day. And honestly, I was like so embarrassed by that. So I was just like, okay, starting January 1st, I'm going to delete everything. So I deleted Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, Facebook. Yeah, I think that's all I have. Um, I even deleted Pinterest because I realized I was just on that for too long too. Um, honestly, the first day was kind of weird. I realized the biggest thing that we do is we feel the need to like show people what we're doing. And I also started, I also made a pack like I would start getting into the gym again because I used to go to the gym all the time and I just took this break and I realized I'm like gonna have all this extra time so I should start picking up better habits. But like the first day I went to the gym, I realized like I went to go take a picture of me going to the gym. Like why would I... That's so dumb. And then I realized how dumb it was. Like, I was just like, why am I showing people that I'm going to the gym? Like, this is so dumb. And I, that happened a couple times. Like, I would do things and want to immediately put it on my Instagram story and realize I couldn't. Um, but after a couple days, it was probably three days, honestly, I was fine. I didn't feel... Okay, what the heck? Someone is, like, yelling. I didn't feel anymore like the urge to reach my phone and click where my Instagram was. Um, and then I just, I felt so much better. I also felt like the reason I had to quit was because I was constantly comparing myself to other girls my age, girls I didn't even know, you know, everything about them. Like they were further along in life than I am or they had these other things that I don't have. And I just realized like I was completely neglecting like the gratitude that I should have in my life. So I decided like, you know what, I just want to be completely present in every day, be thankful for like the things that I have. And I have to say that made like the biggest difference. Um, now that I'm back on, like I, there's so much little fulfillment because I realize I'm just looking at what all these people have, like all of their stuff. And I think that was like the biggest thing. Like I, I was almost getting irritated right before I started, knew I was going to do it. Like I'd get on and it was just like, I was just looking at people's stuff. Like that's what my whole feed was just filled with like stuff and things and materials. And I was just like, what am I getting out of this? Like I just need to take a break and go back to things that really give me joy. So I, what I did with my time mostly was I got back in the gym pretty much every day, five days a week. Um, I went with my mom, so I started spending more time with just family and friends. But probably the biggest thing that I'm most proud of, and this is so small and stupid, but when I was in high school, I was easily two books a week I would read. Like, nothing brought me more joy than a book. And even for the longest time, like, I always used to say that I was going to be an author one day and that I would write books. And, you know, I, I even, like, in my computer have, like, outlines of book ideas and then I don't know what happened well Instagram social media happened and instead of reading books I was just reading feeds and captions so I read four books this month which is I guess that's a book a week um one week I read like two um but I didn't start reading books until like two weeks and I realized like oh I should finish some books that I started so I'm going to show you the books I read because they were so good. I have to share them. And like, I was trying to find people that have read them so I could talk to people, you know, it's like when you finish an episode of Game of Thrones, there's so many people to talk about the episode with, but I had no one to talk about these books with. <laughs> so the first book I read was Every Day, um, You're About Us Every Day by Jen Sincero. Another cool thing I did this month is I actually went to her book signing here in Athens. Um, and I met her. It was so awesome. She's the coolest. Um, she even answered one of my questions. 
these books have changed my life and she's also like a big encourager of why I wanted to leave social media. I highly recommend this. It's a really quick read, not like her other books. It doesn't read like a story. It's different. Um, and then the second book I read, which you guys, I can't even, ex I can't even tell you how much I love this book. Um, an absolutely remarkable thing by Hank Green. I was actually probably 60 to 100 pages into this book back in October, and I decided to pick it up when I had all this extra time because I realized like the times like I wasn't doing anything, I like didn't know what to do because I didn't have social media. So I was like, I need to pick up books again. I used to love that. So this book, I, I can't even explain. It will hook you from the first page. It's so good. John Green is like my favorite author ever. This is his brother, Hank. This is his first novel. And I hope one day to write a first novel this good. And then after that, I wrote, um, I read Turtles All the Way Down by John Green, which is his newest book. I think this came out in like September, maybe last summer. Bought this book again, was probably 60 pages in and put it down because I just would find myself reading books and then picking up my phone to get on Instagram. Um, really good book, a lot different than what he normally does. Um, and then lastly, I read El Eleanor Oliphant is Completely Fine. I'm not sure if I'm saying that last name right. I was really excited about this book. It's part of the Reese Witherspoon Book Club, which now I just wanna read all her books because I trust her that much. <laughs> but I read all these books. Let me know if you've read any of them, what you thought. Um, I highly recommend all of them, they were so good. Um, but yeah, I on February 1st, I knew that I could download them again, but I was almost afraid to because I realized that it was a problem for me and I had done so much more with my time um, not being on it. I also, one of the biggest things I realized is how much people are on it. When you can't get on it and you're around people and you realize how much we are consumed by it and how much we compare ourselves to others and how much we just, like, I was making all these excuses. Like, I don't have time to edit videos. I don't have time to do anything. And it was like, but clearly I have six hours to be on my phone and you know, that's just ridiculous to me. And so I took like, it was quite a few into the first before I was like, okay, I'll download them. And I realized like how much I just didn't find much fulfillment. Like it was sweet. I had people reach out to me like, hey, where have you been? I haven't seen you on social media. So it was sweet to have people reach out to me and like ask how I was doing. Um, but it was cool. I mean, I, I, I unfollowed some people that I felt like weren't, not selfishly doing me any good, but weren't bringing me much fulfillment with their content, which is fine. Everyone has an audience. Um, so moving forward, I have set limits. I can only get on a certain amount of time a day just because I honestly still don't trust myself to fall back into it because I think it's very easy. Um, and just always keeping a book around. I find that reading the books that give just gave me so much fulfillment and I never like whenever I had a free moment like I had to read my book so just keeping things around that like to me bring me more joy than books and for you maybe that's drawing or writing or coloring or puzzles we did do a puzzle um <laughs> just stuff like that I had the best time honestly it was such a good month it went by really really fast and honestly it's so much easier than you would expect but I just want to get your guys' thoughts on it. What do you think is like the hardest part about letting social media go? Or, you know, the pros and cons of social media? Because there definitely was a lot of pros. I had a friend that I didn't know she was pregnant with a baby girl because I wasn't on social media. I missed the Grey's Anatomy season premiere. That's a big deal. Um, literally like three episodes went by before someone told me it was back on. <laughs> That's such a dumb reason, but... There were things that I was like, oh my gosh, I didn't know about the government shutdown. So then I had to start reading the news because I was really out of the loop. Um, but I just wanted to share my experience with it because it was such a big deal for me. I'm really hoping that I can come up with more original content because I realized I was struggling finding original ideas. And I was struggling being comfortable in front of the camera because I was always comparing myself to other influencers. So I'm hoping to be more active on here be more comfortable, just practice this because I really love doing this a lot and, you know, inspiring and motivating other people. But anyways, let me know down below if you've done this, if you want to do this, just a little chit chat about it. And I will have more videos coming soon. I'll see you guys soon.